Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial guys on a brand new brewing station that works on Bedrock and Java Edition. So no matter what version of Minecraft you're playing, you should be fine as far as setting this up. And the great thing about this, the design is super simple and easy to make. Now right at the gate, you're going to have this awesome layout, and you're going to have your brewing stand right in front. As you can see, you got your water bottles, but you're missing your blaze. Now, if you want that, all you have to do is press that button. You're going to notice your blaze is right in the top corner. Good to go. Now, if you want to set up your ingredients, all you have to do is press one button and the ingredient will go directly into the brewing stand. Now, in this case, we're going to make a potion of speed. And you know what? Let's make a lingering potion. As you can see, we've got all the right ingredients and that's all going to get funneled directly into this brewing stand in perfect order. So now you get sugar, and you got everything you need to make that lingering potion, which is great. You know what I mean? Now I'm just going to time lapse this a little bit because it does take a little bit of time. But the awesome thing here, guys, the second your potion is finished, all you have to do is take out the water bottles, or the uh, potion in this case, and water bottles will automatically fill into the brewing stand immediately. Now over here, guys, you got your empty bottles, so you can put that in your barrel. And that will automatically put that into the system. And what's great about this, guys, it has a really cool safety feature. So pause the video, read this for a second, because this is just a really nice way to have this. Now, at this point, guys, this is going to be the item list to make this build. Make sure you pause the video, take the moment to really collect all this, and uh, let's begin. Now, the dimensions here are going to be about 4 tall, 19 wide, and 5 long. Now, right here is where it's going to be the brewing sand and the water filling setup. The first thing you want to do is add three blocks, the brewing stand in the middle, and a dropper on the side facing the brewing stand. Then you can place a hopper right behind it with a block right behind that and a dispenser. Make sure it's a dispenser facing forward and you can place the block underneath. Now right here, we're going to place another block right there underneath that with a comparator going forward. and a block on the side with a lever, you're going to activate it and add some redstone dust right above it. Once you've done that, add two blocks like so, break the one underneath. And over here, right there on the other side, you're going to add two hoppers. And that's where you're going to place your barrel, right on top. Then you add a block there, there, and one here, making this kind of V-shape with comparator going forward and a redstone torch on the side of it. Perfect. Then you're going to add one comparator, but the activation part going towards the front, because behind it, you're going to add two hoppers, one here and on the side. You want both hoppers to be facing each other. And inside that hopper, guys, you can place one piece of dirt or just one item. Now, once you got that set up, place a block there, and you're going to place a redstone dust right there with a block on the left-hand side, right underneath the hopper. All right, now that you got that all set up, add a few blocks on the side here, just to kind of cover that up. And at this point, you want to place a slab in front of the barrel with a block on the side. Now, the reason you have that slab, guys, so you have full access to the actual barrel so you can put in your empty bottles. Now, we're going to go right into the top here. And you want to place one bucket of water in this spacing right here. And a block right above it. Now, starting from here, you're going to add 16 blocks right across. And you're going to place a dropper facing upwards right across each block, including the one right next to the actual brewing stand, and a straight hopper line going towards that direction. Now back here, in the dispenser, you're going to add nine full stacks of bottles. And at this point, we're going to go straight to the hopper here. Now, for the last four slots, you're going to put one item right inside each one. I'm going to use cobblestone. And then you can put one stack in the first one. And in the second one, add like dirt or something different and do the same exact setup. The reason you want that is because you're not going to utilize that slot at any point. So there's no point to fill them up with stacks. 
Now, you're going to place the second you place your barrels, I mean your bottles into that barrel, it's going to start dispensing until the actual brewing stand and the hopper behind it is fully loaded. And once it's fully loaded, the entire system will lock up and stop the dispenser from continuing. See that? See how the comparator is on? Because now it's giving a full signal making that the hopper is full. The comparator is actually locking the hopper timer right above it, as you can see, preventing that dispenser from activating, which is great because it prevents the dispenser from emptying it out. And a cool thing here also, guys, if for whatever reason you're running out of bottles and it's completely empty, that would actually turn on the torch, also locking the hopper timer, preventing the dispenser from also going off. Now, at that point, you add a stair and a slab and just kind of cover all this up right in the front. Add some blocks here. And at this point, guys, you're just simply going to decorate this to your style or whatever, or whatever you want to put that at. And don't forget your buttons. You got to make sure you put your buttons underneath every single block that has a dispenser or a dropper, I mean. And place your item frames to really decorate this. I'm going to show you exactly how I laid mines out. You could definitely change this up. But once again, guys, it's all about the layout, really making this not only functional, but also look amazing. You want this to look great and work great. Now, if you're new to this, guys, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys have been super awesome. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button and that notification bell so you get the latest updates on all the videos going forward. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.